Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and prove that log of AB equals the log of A plus the log B. In order to do that, what we kind of have to think of first is a way to think of the individual logs to start out. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that log of A is gonna be equal to Y and log of B is gonna be equal to X. And you'll see why I do this here shortly. But before I can move even more forward, I need to remember that the base for these common logs would be 10. And I'm gonna rewrite the first log here, the log A equals Y, that equation as a exponential equation. So the base comes down, the Y goes to the power, and the A goes to the other side. And then over here, similarly, we'll have 10 to the X equals B. So this little bit here, this is just a little preliminary work to help us move things along and complete this proof. So if you take the log of AB now and replace the A with 10 to the Y, replace B with 10 to the X, what we're gonna get is 10 to the Y times 10 to the X. And this is really the, the key moment here. And this is where the addition comes into play. And there's a little bit more after we get through this to get to your uh, overall property. But this, this little aspect right here is the key moment. So when you have two bases that are the same multiplied by each other, you just add the powers. So we have log of 10 to the Y plus X. And now, I've got a log property that says that if I have a y plus x up in the power to the argument, I can bring that out to the front as a product. And the log of 10, you know, if there was the base 10 here, we'd say the log base 10 of 10 just means what power do I got to raise 10 to to get itself? And that will be one. So I'm gonna have just y plus x left over. And now I go back up to my original little uh, side work and I bring down the fact that I had log of A equal to Y and the log of B equal to X. Now this proof will work for any base, but since you started out with the log base 10, I went ahead and ran with that. But the key, as I said, is first, you know, this little side work to break things down so that I can replace the A and the B with some exponential expressions that then allow me to get that addition in the play right there. So that's how it works. And, uh, you know, I don't expect you to uh, reproduce this on a test or anything, but I do need you to remember the property. All right. Let me know if you have questions on that.